Yes, hello, my name is Dr. Ross McLennan and I'm the Head of Music here at TAFE Brisbane when it comes to higher education. Today I want to talk to you about our new Bachelor of Creative Industries Contemporary Music Practice degree. Uh, here's just a picture, just to get started, of our fantastic facilities. This is our main studio. This is our main stage. Um, I'd love you guys to come along and check it out. Um, welcome to book a visit anytime and I'll show you around in person. We do have fantastic gear and facilities here. A little bit of a history lesson about our degrees at TAFE Brisbane. Uh, we were told that we had to set up degrees um, in 2013 and I was in charge of um, writing degrees in 2014 so I, I oversaw the writing of degrees in music and in acting and in game design and in uh, fashion design. They were the main ones. Oh, and visual arts as well. Um, and we did a deal with the University of Canberra in 2015 um, to run our degrees through them so that you guys get HEX funding, which is really important. So yes, the degrees are not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, and then in 2016, um, University of Canberra uh, was so impressed really with the degrees we were running and the way we were running them that they asked us if we would like to start running some of their other creative degrees up here as well. And we said yes. So now we also run degrees in um, a screen, in graphic design, in web development and interior architecture. So let's get straight back into it. Um, here are some of our graduates graduating at um, Parliament House in Canberra. You don't have to do that. Some students choose to do it. Do it. Their parents usually like that. Um, let me talk a bit about the music degree. The idea of the music degree is really a degree for a convergent um, world. Um, the creative industries is one of many industries um, which is actually convergent, meaning that the music industry actually exists for the most part across lots of other industries such as film, such as television, such as um, the huge industry of games, which is actually twice as big as film and music combined these days. Um, so a, por a portfolio career is really making your um, income in a series of different areas. And, and really, um, that's really what I do. I mean, I make, make the majority of my um, income from teaching, okay? But some years I will make more money um, composing uh, film, television and games music, for example. Um, while there's all still there's always still sort of a backbone of royalties coming in every quarter, I get royalties from all the music that is licensed to film, television, stuff that gets played on radio, um, jingles, things like that. Um, there's a, a royalty stream coming in as well, um, and um, I'm also in four bands. Um, I'm a multi instrumentalist, so I play in a number of different bands. The ones that make me the money are usually the ones that do covers. So that's really what the whole um, degree is based on, this idea of developing your own portfolio career. Doing university at TAFE is different, um, and the reason it's different is that TAFE learning is known as applied learning. Um, it's been around a long time at TAFE. The idea behind it is that you actually learn better through doing things than through learning about things. Um, and a good example in, in our music degree is there is no music theory subject. There is no music history subject. Um, however, you do learn music theory and you do learn music history, but it's through doing projects. For example, if you're writing a song, you will be you will just come up against the theory of it naturally um, through the applied nature of songwriting. You have to know about chords, you have to know about scales, you have to learn about structure. Um, and then we also, the way we teach as well, you'll be coming across historical lessons, for example, in a subject like screen music, um, you have to learn about um, the classical period, the Baroque period. You have to learn about how to write music that sounds like Wagner. And in fact, that kind of music is really the basis of our cinematic style that you you know and you love so much when you go to the movies or play big, big uh, video games. So we, we do actually teach you that stuff as well. But it's really all about projects. This is a good example of a creative practice unit. Um, this is my old student, Casper, who actually did the, he did the diploma, then he did the degree, and then he did our honours program. 
and now he's out in the real world doing exactly what we hoped he would do. He's playing in lots of bands, making his income from performance, but he has his home studio as well, so he makes his money recording others, and he has his session drummer business, which I've heard is still going well, um, even in this COVID period, because guess what? Recording studios and recordings still happen even when performance venues have closed down. So he actually set this up as a creative project. In fact, it was his creative practice one unit. Um, And he came to me, he said, I want to be a session drummer. And I said, why don't you become a global session drummer online? And he said, yeah. And so he went to Fiverr and he set himself up as a session drummer. And this is me just taking a screenshot of his page that it still exists. It's actually part of his career now, um, this Fiverr site. And you can see that his basic service is $136. I remember when he first started, it was only $24. But now he's become so well known and so well liked. You can see that he gets a five star rating um, and he's been used 95 times. Um, he's up to his, um, his rate. And I believe the premium, his premium um, service is now like 600 bucks to, to, to book him. So book Casper. He's great. Um, Casper Hall, if you need a good drummer. Another really good example of a creative project was Clara, who again did our diploma. And she actually did her honours as well. And Clara is a really interesting example because her first creative project that she did was just recording her an al- album. And she actually went to a professional studio and recorded, I think it was eight songs. And then she released it on Bandcamp. And um, then her next creative project, she decided she would launch her album. So she launched her album at Stradbroke Island, where she lived. And I believe um, she made about $5,000 from that. At the same time, she had a Kickstarter campaign running, which was part of her creative project as well. And you can see down the bottom there that, yes, she managed to raise $9,000. And so she took herself for her next creative project, creative project um, three, she took herself to Nashville to record and to perform. The other thing you might be interested in knowing is that TAFE Queensland actually donated um, her airfare because they were so impressed with her work. And we bought her a, a GoPro camera so, so that she could film her journey and make a little documentary, um, which became her creative project for. Another thing that's really interesting about this project is it's on the way back from Nashville, she booked herself in to do a sound healing workshop in San Francisco. And that actually became the basis of her honours thesis and her honours project. And in fact, if you look up Clara Derbidge now, you will find that her main career is actually in a sound healing business that she's established on Stradbroke Island, which is doing really well. So there you go. It all starts here at TAFE Queensland. It's not about doing university to start a career. It's about starting your career at university. And here are a few other examples. Um, We've had students. This is a student who actually designed a self-playing guitar, an actual invention that reacts to light and plays in different ways um, once light is um, connected to it. We've had other students build their own electric guitars. A a guy last year made this fantastic microtonal guitar and did a fantastic concert to show us how it worked. It was really amazing. Um, We've had, we had three bands work together um, where they booked a studio and managed to record three songs in six hours. So they had two hours each and that worked great. It was a really good creative project. These were for bands that already existed outside of, um, outside of campus. And another, another student project was he, the guy made his own musical, put it on at West End. It was a big hit. It made a profit. Um, I went to it. It was fantastic. Not only was, was it full of original music, but there were baristas involved who came out and gave the, served the audience all coffee. So everyone was buzzing all the way through it. So that's creative projects, except um, we've also been running for the last four years, not this year, unfortunately, because of COVID. We've been running these study tours um, to Europe where we took um, games and music students to London, to Paris and to Cologne in Germany. Um, While there, we went to things like we went to the the proms at the Albert Hall. Um, We went to gigs at like Bag of Nails and other gigs as well. We went to some jam um, jam sessions in in um, Hampstead. I remember 
very early in the in the morning one day with some of our students when they'd set up jam sessions there we went to abbey road um we um, went up to guildford to um media molecule and talked to all the guys there about the making of little big planet and another fantastic um game called dreams which i really recommend you look at it's really interesting the way they work with music in that game we went to um Square Enix in London as well. That's Square Enix there, mate, um, who um, were telling us all about uh, the games they were producing at the moment, as well as um, Tomb Raider. They talked a lot about that as well. Then when we got, we went to Paris as well. We did that really because it was on the way to Cologne, but obviously we just had to sort of climb the Eiffel Tower and you know take a boat down the Seine and and all of those sort of great touristy cultural things. And then when we got to Cologne, we went to Gamescom, which is Europe's biggest um, game development convention. We went to Devcom, which is a developer's convention, and some of our gamers showed off their games there. Um, we also went to Soundtrack Cologne, which is Europe's biggest uh, conference for film, television, and games composers. And we went to master classes there. We met with Spitfire Audio. They gave us all these T-shirts. We went to a massive concert with games music. Um, we met famous um, composers. Some of our students, by the way, after doing this, have gone back over to America. And one of our students did a, um, a short internship with Jeff Rona, composer of uh, God of War and Black Hawk Down. And we've had other people go um, back to Europe uh, to work on internships over there as well. So very successful, very exciting creative project. This is only available, though, to students who who do well that you need a grade point average of five or above to apply for this particular tour. The other great thing about our, um, our well, any university typically is that campus life is just as important as academic life. And we have that here as well. Um, the positioning of the campus is right in the heart of South Bank. So there's access to all the fantastic restaurants. Uh, as you can see, there's the, the beach, which our students sometimes pop down to at lunchtimes for a quick swim on a hot day. Um, you can see our campus is right next to the convention center, takes up three blocks um, along Merivale Street. It's a really big and impressive campus. We also have events that we run specifically for our students. We have, a, have had an end of year ball in the past, again, not this year because of COVID, but we have an end of year ball. There are clubs. We have the Create um, Creative Festival, which is very exciting as well. In terms of the kind of jobs that you're going to get, the key again is the word convergence. Typically, the music jobs that you're going to get that are actually going to earn you money are in these areas, radio, communications, obviously clubs, therapy, even film companies, record companies, festivals, organizations, museums, games, advertising, galleries. These are the types of companies that actually need music. Uh, music is actually part of the, their big business. All right, so there are jobs out there the kind of jobs are, you know, typically old jobs that have existed for hundreds of years, like music teaching, um, songwriting, composers, um, but they're also editing jobs, sound editing, sound design, co um, composers, producers, jingles, orchestrators. There are so many jobs out there. You just have to be aware that you're going to be working in different creative industries a lot of the time. One recent one is the audio middleware engineer. I'm now teaching FMOD in one of our units so that students are learning these new technologies where the jobs exist. The actual subjects themselves, as you can see, um, songwriting and production, more songwriting and production, music performance and originality, which is all about developing your stagecraft and your image and collaborating on songs with your peers. You've got commercial music performance and pedagogy, which is about rehearsing for performances as well as teaching each other. It's about learning to teach. Um, we've got our you know, subjects in synthesis and sampling where you learn about music and composition through playing with synthesizers. We've got lovely modular synthesizers, Moogs. Um, we also do some um, plug-in plug based synthesis. We make our own instruments which we compose with. Um, we do subjects in music for media, writing music for um, corporations, for, for jingles, for advertising, for um, games, of course. We do a very a huge assessment on games. 
Um, and then we've got technology on stage where we, we learn about Ableton Live and how to get Ableton Live to um, control your lighting and control your MIDI um, and control your effects units and all this sort of stuff. And then we've got music for screen where we, we're aiming towards getting that big cinematic orchestral sound using cinematic orchest orchestral samples. And at the, end of, at the end of that one, we actually bring in real players to, to create a hybrid performance where some of the performance is played through samples and some is played through real instruments. It's a really exciting degree, guys. It's awesome. Um, here are our core units. Oh, that's... I'm, Time's up, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, the only other thing I'd like to say is another way of doing the degree is you can actually squish all those units into two years, um, taking on less electives, if you wish, and actually run a diploma, uh, um, a diploma through here. I would highly recommend if you're into sound engineering, particularly live engineering, and you want to get your hands all over that fantastic mixing desk that you saw at the very first moments of my presentation. I would highly recommend you, you do a diploma as an alternative first year. So you'll come out with two qualifications at the end of three years. So the diploma in music industry sound production would be a fantastic thing to slot in here. So that's the end of my production, uh, at the end of my presentation, I'm out of time. Um, I'd love to see you in the, um, in the degree program. You can actually apply directly through canberra.edu or I recommend you call Serena who will help you through the process. It's a bit tricky. So just call or email her and she'll help you through it. Um, you have to audition to do the to do our, um, our degree program. However, if you've got a reference from your music teacher, so music teacher, teachers listen up, um, a reference will get you straight in, direct into the degree without having to audition. We really respect music teachers and we think um, their say means a lot in your career. If you've already done a, a, a degree or you've done your part way through a degree, you can move straight into second year if you wish. Um, if you've done um, one of our um, diplomas, um, you can again move straight into second year of the degree. And if you've done a certificate three or certificate two in music, that also gives you direct entry straight into the um, degree program without having to audition. So I'm out of time. My name is Dr. Ross McLennan. There's my information there if you need more. Um, thank you for listening.